Good evening. Police in Huntington say a simple vandalism could have taken a turn for the worst last night. Officers made a disturbing discovery that they say could have gotten three teenagers shot. News, News Channel 15's Adam Widener spoke with officers who responded to that crime. So what exactly made this so dangerous? Well, Huntington police say the vandals had removed the orange tip from a pellet or a BB gun like this one. For one, that could be a federal offense. But if officers had seen the teens with it in their hand, they would have been considered it a live weapon. Good chance they could have got shot. Sergeant Tom Tallman was one of the handful of officers who got the call last night. They responded to vandals at a warehouse just outside Markle. We searched the building and cleared the building. There was no one in the building at that time. A neighbor told them three teenage suspects had run across the field and were hiding in the woods. After they saw the, the number of police officers that were at the scene, uh, they thought about their situation and basically walked out of the woods uh, giving up. Police say the 16, 17, and 18 year olds had shot out a glass door now covered by wood. They also shot out a window and some lights inside. When questioned, police say one of the boys admitted to other vandalism plaguing the city of Huntington. For the past two months, we've had uh, approximately 35 to 50 car windows and business windows shot out. It's approximately $20,000 is the estimate that we have at this time. As the city and county conduct investigations, officers are relieved there wasn't a confrontation in the warehouse. I don't believe they understand the consequences what could happen by removing that orange tip from the gun. Now, Huntington City Police say they've been questioning high schoolers and working Facebook to solve the rampant vandalism. They hope this brings a resolution to it, and police aren't releasing the names of the three teenagers as of now, but say they will be facing charges. All right. Thank you, Adam.